Hey guys, Jillian here with another installment of Form Focus. This one is live if you're watching the uh, replay. I am here in my street clothes and I am going to show you how to release your glutes using the foam roller or um, a soft medicine ball. I've got a few other tools in the toolkit too. Um, just a little brief kind of background to kind of why you want to be looking at this. It's called myofascial release or self myofascial release. It's a tool that uh, massage therapists use and, and, and tools like foam rolls and, and medicine balls and re release balls have been around for a, quite a while, but they really made it more mainstream in the last little, you know, five to 10 years, I would say. Um, used to be something that children, athletes and kind of high performance, high performance um, fitness professionals were using and now it's really something a lot of people are using. So that's great. It's a, it's a tool you can put in your toolkit to help you help yourself when you can't get to massage. Maybe it's not in your budget to be getting massage. And the, really the background to it is this. So if you think about just purely stretching, if you think about your muscles, there's things that happen, there's, you know, adhesions and trigger points that happen where it's just kind of like, think about like, um, uh, tensor or uh, bungee cord uh, is a good example and your bungee cord you can stretch it but if you have a little knot in it just stretching it and putting applying tension or tension or stretching on it isn't going to actually release that trigger point or that uh, that knot what you need to do to release that knot is uh, you know on a, on, a, on a bungee cord would be to untie it but myofascial release or using uh, foam rolls or medicine balls can actually help release that trigger point same way can a massage can a um, massage therapist is going to be able to get in a little bit probably deeper than you can with a foam roll um, obviously a lot more expertise but what's beautiful about doing it to yourself is that you can feel where you're tight so you can get to those points of tension back off a little bit so a couple of rules of thumb when you're doing this always you know check in with a health professional before you, you know, dig into using this yourself um, the other thing to keep in mind is that you really, it, it is gonna be a little bit uncomfortable, much like a deep tissue massage is going to be, but really monitor that level of pain. Back off, don't go too deep into it. It shouldn't cause excruciating pain, but you are gonna have a little bit of discomfort as you release those muscles and as you release those trigger points. So I'm gonna show you today how to use the, this technique to release the glutes, but you can use it in a lot of different areas. I like to focus on the glutes because what for most most people is IT IT band pain. Releasing the IT bands, which is a very typical foam roll move, actually doesn't get to the root of the issue, which is often tight glutes. So releasing those tight glutes can really be uh, go a long way. The other uh, thing to keep in mind is that you never roll or never go over a bone or a joint ever in foam rolling. So keeping those things in mind as we do this. So I'm gonna grab, I'm in my street clothes because I wanted to show you guys, you don't need to be in fancy, you don't need to be in fitness attire to do this. I love keeping actually this little ball, which is not a hard medicine ball, it is a soft medicine ball. So if you don't have a soft medicine ball, I don't know that I recommend using a hard medicine ball for this. I think you'd find that pretty uncomfortable. Um, there are actually balls designed for this. Um, kicking around. I don't know if they're still available on the marketplace, but I know I have one downstairs. Um, there's a couple other tools that I have in my toolkit for this. Um, this is actually a traveling foam roll. Look how itty bitty it is. It's so handy and it's, you can get down the middle of it. So you can actually pack this. I use this when I'm going away to races. I'll take this with me. Um, locals, you can get these at front runners. Um, these little balls, I use these more so, less on the floor and more so when I'm up against a wall to get into kind of the upper traps or into my glutes. And then this big foam roll, there's lots of different varieties of these guys, but this is the, um, I think the professional grade one. Um, I just like the firmness of it, uh, but you can get cheaper versions, you get half versions, and they're all going to do the same trick, okay? So that's another thing to use. I'm going to show you today how to use it on the medicine ball. So uh, I'm just going to put these things to the side here. And so what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to come onto the ball and I'm just going to actually sit on it. And you'll notice I'm using my hands to kind of lift some of the pressure off. So if you are um, quite tight, you're gonna need to use your legs and your arms to kind of act a little bit actively, stay off and not go quite as deep. So you're gonna just go into the glutes and go into the points of tension. It's making all sorts of really rude noises. <laughs> and you're just gonna sit into it. And when you get to certain points where you feel a little bit more tension, it maybe even travels the tension, you get a little bit of referral pain, 
that, that shows you that you've actually uh, um, found a trigger. So what you want to do when you find a trigger is if you can, if you can tolerate it, sit into it and breathe throughout the movement and really let that trigger point, I've just found one there in myself, let it release. So you want to be holding it there for about five to 30 seconds to your tolerance. And if it's a little bit too tight, right on the trigger point, back off and go near the trigger point and then release there. And then you'll find that you can then uh, wiggle your way closer to that trigger point and find that release a little bit more comfortably. So just going in there, you just want to kind of move around. Like I said, don't going and not going near the joint. So we're not going near that SI joint. Um, we're going up right uh, around it. Certainly we're getting all the area of the glutes but you're not, found another one right there, my piriformis, such a, such a doozy that one. Um, so finding that trigger point, finding those points of tension in some such areas, you can kind of sit into it a little bit more. Um, so that's how I would use a medicine ball to release my glutes. Same thing applies guys, if you're using a foam roll, I'm just gonna come onto the foam roll and I'm gonna start by just sitting into it and start with just a few gentle, it's a little bit easier on the foam roll. I find the medicine ball is great to get a little deeper. The foam roll is a little bit better to get kind of a bigger range of motion because I can just slide my body over it, just gently warming it up through the muscles and just getting that nice kind of broad stroke first and then kind of rolling into it, trying some different angles and really getting into those trigger points, holding it where you find that piece of a trigger point. All right, I see a few of you have joined me live, so I'm just gonna check in and see if there's any questions about foam rolling, since I am live today. I'm just gonna come a little closer so I can see. No questions, I can see who's here. Hi guys, hi Sandy, hi Leah. Um, any questions about foam rolling, feel free to post them. If I don't capture the questions today, then I'll, I'll answer them a little later um, when I could go through the comments. But if you have any questions, you know where to reach me, Jillian with a G at superu.ca and happy foam rolling. Have a great day. Take care.